Hello everyone and welcome back to another video about America's Next Top Model. I know that cycle 24 hasn't started, but what I want to start doing is doing something I want to call Top Model Tuesday, where I'm going to be doing a brand new video about America's Next Top Model. It could be about a certain season, it could be some favorite moments, it could be my experience on the show. There's no telling what it could be. I'm really excited to talk more about other seasons than just mine and then the ones since mine. Um, I have a lot of opinions about the previous cycles before I was on the show because I was such a huge fan of America's Next Top Model. So. I definitely am excited to share my opinions with all of you. So make sure you keep coming back on Tuesdays where I'll be doing Top Model Tuesday. And if you have suggestions on things you wanna hear my opinion about or you wanna hear me talk about, comment down below what types of Top Model videos you wanna see because every Tuesday I really wanna give you a great video about America's Next Top Model, a show we all love. So for this video, I wanted to kick start it with my top five favorite models or contestants that have been on the show ever. I am very biased in my opinion about these people just because one, I love reality TV, two, I love America's Next Top Model, and three, I think these people are incredible. I understand that some of them might not have been the most glamorous or fashion model oriented or may not have the biggest career since being on the show, but these are the five people that have stood out for me being on the show from day one until I was on the show. These are the five people that I've always thought about um, when I think of America's Next Top Model. So let's start with number one. Let's start with somebody who is kind of an OG. She won cycle six. Her name is Danielle Evans. She is my, one of my all-time favorite winners of America's Next Top Model. From the very beginning of cycle six, I picked her to win. I was rooting for her. I think she had an amazing, amazing story. I don't know, whenever I think of America's Next Top Model, she is somebody that comes to my mind and has always been a huge, like, she's amazing. Number two on my list, she's from cycle one. She was also on All Stars, and that's Shannon Stewart. Shannon got second place. I really wanted her to win cycle one. Her story is very relatable to me because she comes from a conservative background. A lot of religion went into how she was brought up, and so when she had to do the nude shoot for cycle one, she chose not to do it, but she stayed in the competition, which is a huge testament to her and her character and her morals that she is very committed to who she is and she knows who she is and knows what she wants, that she was able to do that and still remain in the competition. I loved her from the moment she walked onto set for Cycle 1, and then when they brought her back for Cycle 17, which was All Stars, I was more than excited that they had somebody from Cycle 1, but also Shannon, because she was a standout for me. I really wanted her to win Cycle 1, and then she did really well on All Stars 2. Now I te I don't text. Now I tweet back and forth between Shannon about what's going on with the new cycle or just anything in general, so that's really cool. Number three, Whitney Thompson, the winner of America's Next Top Model Cycle 10. She was the first plus size winner of America's Next Top Model. I picked her to win the second she walked on the set. I adore her. She's a sassy little southern girl. She has an intense, amazing face. She was one of my favorites. She's always been one of my favorites. I adore her and I've never met her and when she came on a previous cycle to be like a guest, I was so jealous because I absolutely love her. Now she owns a restaurant, she's doing some amazing things. It's been a while since she was on the show so she's been able to do some really awesome things. I love her, she's great. Whitney Thompson. Whitney, if you're watching this, I hope I made you proud. Number four, Raina Hine. Or she got married and her last name's Ellison now, but Raina, for me, is top model. She is when I was fully engrossed in the show. Um, I think I was in college or high school when she was on the series, and 
she did such an amazing job on her season. I thought she was gonna win, but it's okay. Second place isn't that bad. Her eyebrows are incredible. She has such an interesting, unique look that's super high fashion and also very commercial. Um, but her whole season, she was my front runner. I really wanted her to win, and I adore her. I've met her, and I kind of fangirled a little bit when I met her at a casting for a fashion week in LA. Seriously, one of my favorite people that's ever been on America's Next Top Model because she's so beautiful. Oh my god. Alright, time for number one. My number one favorite person that has ever been on America's Next Top Model, and I'm assuming it's a lot of your favorites, and that's Allison Harvard. She is the epitome of what America's Next Top Model is. She got second in cycle 12, and then she also got second in All Stars. How does that happen? How do you get second and then second again? She couldn't grab a win, but that's okay. She is one of the most unique, interesting people that has ever been on the series. She came and was a guest on our finale-ish episode of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 21. Um, she has done a lot of work in Asia, Southeast Asia. She is still so incredibly interesting. She was that person on Cycle 12 that everyone loved. Everyone loved Allison. There wasn't somebody who didn't love her because she was so interesting. Her story was so different and she was just a quirky girl and she killed everything that she did. I remember when she was on All Stars and they did the music video and she sang that song on the swing and she's rocking back and forth and her eyes are huge and it's so haunting but so perfect. She is amazing. Allison Harvard is the number one for me, America's Next Top Model. She should have won, let's be real. So that's it, those are my top five contestants that have ever been on America's Next Top Model that have made an impact on me, have impacted the way that I see the show, have stuck in my head for 13 years that this show's been on television. They all have played a part into me and being on the show and why I wanted to be on the show and they are incredibly great women. I didn't pick any boys just because that's a little weird because it was only three cycles and they were all kind of close to my age in the same time. But anyways, um, but those five people are amazing. Danielle Evans, cycle six. Shannon Stewart, cycle one and 17. Whitney Thompson, cycle 10. Raina Hine, cycle 14. And Allison Harvard, cycle 12 and 17. Those are my five. I wanna know who your five favorite contestants ever on America's Next Top Model are. Please comment down below. I want to know who your top five are. They're probably going to be different from mine just because I have a different view on a lot of things, but I need to know who your top five are, so go comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please also tell me what types of America's Next Top Model videos you want to see me do, and hopefully I'll be able to do it. But thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next Tuesday for an all-new America's Next Top Model, Top Model Tuesday video. Bye. Who's in the house?